Okay, guys, I am about to restore my chairs. Uh, me and my mom restored them one other time, but they've been out in the sun, just all kind of things. So, but they are ready to get restored. I'm actually going to just hit the spots that need to be done because it's really only like the spots that's always getting the most wear and tear. So I'll be putting the same stain back on it. Right now I am wiping it down with a brush because you have to wipe it down first before you start painting. Um, and then once I start painting i'll come back and i was about to throw these away but i decided when i look at see how much wicker is now oh my god i was like you know what i'm gonna restore it and it's still cheaper it's probably like five it's crazy look up wicker guys see how much it costs with the pandemic and there's nothing wrong with these chairs they just need to be painted y'all know uh, four or five years ago my mom did a video on youtube and repainted them so i am just about to retouch them up and i'll be back with the end result okay Guys, I am about to retouch up my chairs that I done like five years ago, four or five years ago. My mom did it for me, but this time I'm actually about to just retouch it up myself. I'll be using the same paint, Olympic Maxim, um, and I am going to just touch up some spots that need to be touched up. Um, they are doing well, but you know with the rain and all that stuff and the elements, they are, um, and with the um, pillow. I think I put the pillow on too soon, y'all. That wasn't completely dry a long time ago. So, with that being said, I messed them up a little bit. So, I'm going to go ahead and fix them. And here they are. Um, again, I'll be retouching them up. They only need to be fixed like little spots. Like, you see where the actual seat was, where the pillows was. Like I said, I wanted to sit on them so soon I um, did it too soon. They wasn't dry completely. I'm also going to put a clear coat um, on my uh, table that I've been having for a while and I'll put a clear coat too on um, This once I get finished, but I'm gonna show you the clear coat that I'll be using and I'm so, so upset with myself Y'all because I found this at Lowe's and it was $20. It was really really big. It actually it was 19 um, And then I wind up going to Home Depot and they had a one but it wasn't the same brand Super super big, but then I wound up going to Walmart and they had the big one and the little one and my crazy book got the small one. So get the big one. Uh, it was $11.97 for this small one. This is what I'll be putting on as a clear coat. But get the big one because it's always best to have too much than not enough. And you can always save it for later like I did the paint. Make sure you have you some paint brushes. And go ahead and put you, I put a shower curtain down because I don't want nothing to mess up my concrete. I'll be doing it in the garage. If you got more lighting, it'd be so much better because sometimes lighting is everything. So the more lights you have, the better. I also have some cardboard. I'm going to put that down too. So I'm just extra careful. Um, and again, we're, we will be uh, retouching up these chairs and I will include the old video of this. Don't forget y'all to comment, rate, and subscribe. There's also a thank you. If you scroll down there where it say like, uh, thumbs up, and it also says um, thank you. Uh, I would love for you guys just to donate a dollar or two. You don't have to, but I just wanted to tell you guys about that feature. I keep forgetting to tell everybody in every video, but there's a thank you feature you want to thank me with a dollar thank me with two thank me with five whatever please guys i would love for you to use that feature don't forget to subscribe and let's get to getting what i like to do is the shower curtain that i'm using it has some um uh, magnets on it it just hold better if you can find the one with magnets get your stuff together and we are about to start painting But I do still got to work on that one. But at least this one right here is done. And once I'm completely finished, I'll come back to with you at the end results. When I say, guys, this look good, I was looking for uh, wicker uh, chairs online. And it was just crazy, the price. And I was like, you know what? I bought me some new chairs in the front. Um, and I was like, you know what? These are the old chairs that was in front. I was like, I'm going to refurbish these, get some new uh, pillows because I got me a fire pit over there. And that's what that's going to be for. So we're not going to throw this away. So stay tuned to the end results of both of them. But it's looking good, y'all. At least this one right here is done. And once I'm completely finished, I'll come back to with you at the end results. When I say, guys, this look good, I was looking for uh wicker uh chairs online and it was just crazy the price and i was like you know what i bought me some new chairs in the front um and i was like you know what these are the old chairs that was in front i was like i'm gonna refurbish these get some new uh pillows because i got me a fire pit over there and that's what that's going to be for so we're not 
going to throw this away. So stay tuned to the end results of both of them, but it's looking good, y'all.
supported many through their personal injury clinics. Learn more about what Lamar Law Office can do for you at AtlantaLegalCare.com. That's AtlantaLegalCare.com. Lamar Law Office. More than legal service, we care. I know you are most worried about getting your kids the school supplies they need, everything else on their teacher list, right? But they are worried the most about the shoes. I'm so excited. Actually, the two is on air. And yes, all the kids are worried about the dress, all about those first day back to school picks. Well, I want you to go to Shoe Show. Whether it's backpacks or shoes, Shoe Show has the greatest deals for all your back to school needs. Buy specifically tagged athletic shoe and backpack together, and you can get $5 off each item. Look for those tags either in store or online. This week has a blast. Check out your local Shoe Show store yeah. or visit us online. Okay, y'all, I was going to throw away these uh, wicker chairs, but I decided to refurbish them because when I checked to see how much wicker is now, oh my God, guys, patio furniture and wicker is so ridiculously high. I'm telling you, like, it's probably about triple the price that it was when I purchased these. I probably purchased these for maybe about $80. Now, two sets of these is about $600. Um, I just purchased some new chairs in my front, and it looked really nice. It may include the video, um, and that's why... I, I got rid of these, but um, again, just refurbishing them. I'm gonna put a fire pit, these with the fire pit, give me some little cushion chairs. And that's it, guys, and I'm done. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this uh, dry for about just two days, two to three days, however long you want, the longer the better, and put them out, and they'll be ready to go. So don't forget to follow me for more. Let me know below, guys. Did y'all read uh, Furbishing for Chairs? Let me know if this video helping you, if it is. Please, guys, don't forget to subscribe. And I also have a thank you. It's a heart down at the bottom where it says share. Uh, you can be able to donate $1, $2, $3, whatever you like. I would love for you to click that, too. Thanks for sh um, sharing. I mean, thank you for, don't forget to share. Thank you for watching. And you guys be blessed. And look how good my puppy is over there chilling. I'm so proud of her. I'm going to take her for a walk. Okay, guys. Bye. Okay, guys. I am super excited. They are completely dry. You guys, as you know, I was redoing my front um, chairs. I was about to throw them away, but I decided to redo them. All they needed to be retouched up because they was already done. My mom done them. I don't know if y'all remember. I could attach a video. She redone them about four years ago. Um, nothing was wrong with them. The paint just looked bad. They were actually white at first. 
And I um, was so excited. I really didn't let the chairs dry last time. And I put the cushions in the seats and I wound up messing them up. But anyway, we fixed them. They look so good. And I was about to throw them away. But guys, the price of patio furniture and wicker furniture is freaking ridiculous. It has triple, triple, triple the pricing now. I purchased these back a long time ago. I'm going to say probably, don't quote me on this, maybe about $90 at the most. Now, guys, it's like almost $500 some dollars or more to be able to get these nice big chairs. So I decided not to um, throw them away. I repurposed them and fixed them. So there we go, guys. I'm excited about them. And we got some new char chairs in the front. So that's why I wind up getting rid of that. Um, but I also have a fire pit. So I'll be putting these with the fire pit. So stay tuned to that. Okay. Bye guys. Let me know if you refurbished anything. Put it below. We do not have to throw away things. Sometimes you can just refurbish it, retouch it up, repaint it. Don't get rid of all that old stuff. Cause to be honest with you, this old stuff is better than a lot of this new stuff. Sit and think on that. Bye guys. Don't forget to follow me for more. Hey guys, just wanted to show you guys my, uh, repaint it, uh, chairs. My mom painted them, uh, maybe about four years ago. I just retouched them up a little bit. I was about to throw them away, but I remember what my mom said, why throw things away? And then I also seen how much wicker chairs are right now. There's nothing, it was nothing wrong with it. They just needed to be, I can't even talk. They just needed to be redone. The paint needed to be redone. So that's what I did. I'll include the video. Uh, so don't forget to follow me for more, but let me know guys, are y'all doing any DIY projects outside? This was just one. There we go. And I'm loving it, y'all. It came out really, really good. Look at Rain over there. Say, hey, Rain. You know, she always got to be outside, y'all. But anyway, follow me for more, y'all. Comment below what y'all think.